<laughs> hey everybody! Welcome hey. here. The ladies of Rewatch and Wine. I'm Treva. I'm Raya. Champagne. And Lynn. And today we have our book to movie review of Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Nicola Yoon. I reviewed a book by her previously called Ascent is Also a Star. And I, for one, love that book. So I chose another one of Nicola Yoon's books as my pick. Yay. This is Liz's pick. I can't wait to see what we all think. (laughs) (laughs) And just um, started, let's go to Ray. You're going to talk about the one? Yes. So I've actually already started. I've had just two. Two and a half. Um, this is a skinny girl wine Moscato because you know I am really not the wine connoisseur. connoisseur. Um, I am the fan <laughs> of the sweet wine Is that a the wine connoisseur? connoisseur? Anyway, Moscato is me because I like everything sweet. Um, but it's very good, very tasty. And again, like I'm on my second and then glass. So there we go. I need to try that. I haven't tried that. So it's called Skinny Girl. It's it's in the Skinny Girl collection, yes, and this is the Moscato. Isn't that Bethany Frankel's uh, brand from Real Housewives of something in summer in New York and Could, I, You know what? I don't know. I didn't do any research at all. Um, <laughs> this just happens to be one that I like. It doesn't mention that person's name at all, but it could be. I think um, I heard. It's yeah, just a it is. Lot. It okay, is. there you go. Some Real Housewives. Okay, good to I'm go. Good to know. Late, sorry, so man. we are going to need to contact her for some more of this. Very good, though. This is my favorite because, again, I like the sweet stuff. Sweet and light. Like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You skinny girl, too? We need a big booty girl one. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Please. All of the above, ma'am. All of the above. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the drinks for today. All right. Well, so Lynn, give us some background on this book. You got anything else to share before we jump into it? Since it's your pick, you all edumacated on everything and everything. (laughs) everything. Really, I just wanted to like read this book because, you know, I like either like the young novel or dystopian where everybody's dying. So it's either one or the other. (laughs) So I don't have any background. My bad. (laughs) Okay. All right, let's jump right into it. Um, So, yeah, it is sort of like a teeny bopper, teeny teen something. Um, But now that you mentioned that Nicole Yoon, this is one of her books, I'm noticing um, some consistency Mm -hmm. in the diversity of the couples. Yep. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But the girls, even though they're not the same actor, they kind of look alike, the two female leads in both of the movies, and um, and then they both are dating someone or like someone or love someone outside of their race. So that's an interesting dynamic that I think I'm liking about her. Mm-hmm. Um, but the book, well, that was the movie, but the book, I thought it was a cute book. I, I like the book. Yeah, I, really go and I liked it. Yeah, I, I did too. I really, I really, really enjoyed the book. It was I cute. Did. I did. Unexpected Wait. twist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing. Unlike some of these um, more youthful books, I can kind of figure out the ending. But yeah, no, no yeah, clue. Quite, yeah. they, it had me to the end. I was like, what is happening? Where is this going? Okay. I, <gasps> what? Mama <laughs> crazy. That Munchausen's by proxy gets you every time. Right. <laughs> but she good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, She's yeah. good yeah. because um, Raya, we couldn't be in the same <laughs> well, city. Playing with no. the scissors. But this, this is what I would have felt like doing to her. I love you, but no, no, no. <laughs> Eighteen years. Eighteen, 18 years. Years. <laughs> I'm still going to love you, but we cannot be in the same environment. And I get no. it. She she is sick. That is a form of a sickness, her mother. Right. Um, illness. Yeah. So I, I get where she's coming from and why she did it. She lost everybody. So trying to put that, um, keep her close, way too close. But I get it. But yeah, no, I, we couldn't be in the same room, though. It's, give me a that- minute. You gotta give me. You gotta give me a few years. 
<laughs> but that's why I said still love you because I know everything you're going through. But mm, 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 mm. we right. gotta back it on up, y'all. Back it on up. Back <laughs> it on up. Back it on up. You backed it on out of the screen. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> backed it up on out. <laughs> so yeah, when I first read this book, I actually read it like years ago and I loved it. And I loved the um I guess like the dynamic that like she took her life that was um not normal and she knew it wasn't normal, but it made she it made she still made the positive um adjustments to stay mentally positive, knowing that she couldn't go outside like other kids. And she still found ways to make her day happy. And so I like that a lot. Mm. But anyway, um, so, I mean, I think the story was really cute. Um, and I'm with you guys. Like, I would have never expected it. But I actually saw this movie, like, right when it first came out, like, a long time ago. And I never read the book. But then I forgot what the movie was about because I'm reading the book and I'm like, oh, why does this sound so familiar? Right. Yeah. And then I realized when I started watching the movie, I was like, oh, this is why it sounds familiar. I saw mm-hmm. it before. Um, so anyway, it just kind of all came together for me. But I enjoyed both of them. Um, I don't know if you guys want to dive into the movie and the adaptation. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna be, um, what we call it, um, clear. The exact same thing happened to me, Treva, because so I hadn't finished, I hadn't even looked at the movie, and I was like, Treva, where'd you watch it? And then when I got, when the movie started, I was like, I didn't see this already. Bam. So at least I knew kind of what was going on, but same thing. I was like, so, like, what is it called? Deja vu? (laughs) Right. That's what I was going through reading it. Like, wait a minute. (laughs) It seems so familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead and get into the movie because I'm. I, I got some some things. I'm. I'm a, I'm a champagne. Champagne. You started out. I'm probably gonna. <laughs> I got you. On a lot of it. Okay. Before you start, champagne. The director is Stella McGee, and the screenplay writer was J. Mills Goodlow, and also Nicola Yoon. So I'm glad that she got to put her hands in the screenplay. Author. Yeah. Screenplay writer. That makes a big difference. We it know does that. because. I loved this adaptation. I feel like they hit it, hit the mark. They, I mean, they even added some stuff that was outside of the um, book, but it didn't take away from the storyline. And I can't really pinpoint like something real significant that they didn't add to the movie that made me I angry. I can do it for you. I can't. That made me angry. But I will say that I don't understand the incorporation of the spaceman. Um, because that was driving me a little bit crazy. Yeah. The spaceman was because she was an architect or wanted to be an architect, yeah. and with her teacher, that the only person that ever came to visit her, she had to put the spaceman in all these different like locations. So her spaceman was representation of like herself being like a astronaut in her bubble. I get it. I just didn't need the um, spaceman walking around right. in the movie. It's a young novel, so you have right. children. That was driving me crazy. But what I did like is because most of the time I get upset when there's a lot of thought in head and it's not brought out or like even when yeah. the text messages are going. But I love the way that they put her in this fictitious environment for them to, to communicate rather than us constantly reading the text messages back and forth or the email messages. So I really love the way they got creative with that part of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, I love the movie. They did leave a couple of things out. I was a little on the fence with how they were doing it until I'm thinking about it now. Um, and you're right. I wouldn't have wanted to read subtitles. I promise <laughs> that. Because I would this I would have been highly upset. The spaceman, I didn't get until the end of the <laughs> the end of the movie. I was like, oh wait. At the beginning, she like in the book, it was like she put an astronaut in every single architecture piece she did so i was just like but yeah they did he didn't have to be there at all. <laughs> like we could have had just a little doll figure and we'd have been good with that right especially <laughs> when you leave out the professor who acknowledges that that's why uh, what she does they, they left that completely out so anybody watching this movie who ever read the book it was just like okay 
Because you could easily miss that little part that they showed of her putting the astronaut. You could have easily yeah. missed that, and you would have been completely lost on why this random astronaut. Right. Was <laughs> I was having flashbacks of Robot Man from the Dave Chappelle show that just kind of showed up all the time. <laughs> I'm like, why is this astronaut here? <laughs> One problem I have is how, okay, they were high school students, correct? Yes. High school students are normally not still in high school at 18, correct? Some of them are. I was. Some of them are. I mean, but generally, you're not. You're already graduated at 17 or whatever. I was, but I was, yeah. But. No. I, was I, I don't think that's accurate, though. I think most people graduate at 18. Uh, usually, I thought it was uh, 17. Well, it depends on your birthday is, but I yeah. turned for like six months i was out the club and then waking up and going to high school <laughs> yeah Bingo. if your birthday is okay. january through june you're graduating at 18. got it okay because so six, for a minute i was month of the year for a minute, or if your like, parents are so clingy that you start late sure that i started early so i did graduate at 17 and i just turned 17 but I know I was always the youngest in every class. Like yeah. I was, I was signing myself out. I was like, "Look, I missed these classes. Sure, see y'all later." <laughs> so you did ahead. a lot. You did a lot, Lynn. You, know, you <laughs> always. You got it honestly, Lynn. We prepared you your parents for you, and yeah. I, to this day, to this day, still say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So my point was her getting a credit card. I was just. I was just trying to figure out, like, how are you able to get a credit card in high school? Like, because if I could get a credit card when I was in high school. Well, everything's <laughs> online now. So it's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is put the right year in. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it like that. I was just thinking. Just we like, have plenty of family okay. members that do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. You could just ask one of them if you, you need some help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that took a dark side pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah. The truth ain't always light and pretty, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, before, I don't want to eat up all what I have. No. Keep going. Go ahead, because I, know I, you... I need you to bring it out for me. I need you to do <laughs> it. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, so, all right, what else do I have? For me, I felt like this book missing. It's missing something. I don't know whether it has something to do with the the acting or the production, but on some occasion, you know how when they first met in the room? Which was lackluster okay. in comparison to the book. <laughs> oh, yeah. I something grand and this window. It, it's yeah, I felt a little short for that on that. I think me. the sunroom. You're right. It was described as more grandiose, like her mom was recreating an environment that she could not be in. So she just she made it big, and it didn't reach that potential. I agree. And, and the fun things that, like, he taught her, and uh, it just, mm, that just blew it for me. It did. <laughs> the handstand. Yeah. You know, she, he was the one that told her, oh, you know, when she walked in, he was on the, doing a handstand, just sitting there. So, and that led up to them touching, which led up to them kissing. So, the way it turned around, it just looked like she was a little fast. <laughs> Bingo! It was like boom. Hey, right. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna need you to sit down. Well, you know, if you was cooped up in a house for 18 years, <laughs> touche. I mean, and the only thing you got is your internet porn. You <laughs> might attack a brother coming up in your sunroom. Also, <laughs> I mean, she was on him in two points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In comparison to the book, they just blew that. It was no romance at all, which I and thought it was all. cute and romantic in the book. But keep it going, because I need you to get to Rosa. Rosa was, wait, who is Rosa? Claire, Carla? Uh, Carla? Claire Car Carla. The, yeah. the, the nurse? Carla. Yeah. Carla, yeah. yeah, so, you, yeah. She her name wasn't to Carla be little... in the movie. Huh? They changed her name in the movie, I thought. No, it was Carla. No, her name was okay, Carla. okay, go ahead. But she, they definitely changed her image. That Rosé is getting to you, Rhea. That's why you think I'm Sorry. About... <laughs> Sorry. Rosa. She was supposed to be a little bit more heavier um, and older. I picture yes, her older. older. Not young and sassy and pretty. Well, not no, not to shame or anything like that. I'm just saying the, the way she was described was nothing. When she was, she, she, you know she 
came like across as a little more wiser, like this wiser older woman in the book. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, and then daughter. like, and then like, you know, they even changed. Like to me, her being like, when she was in the book and she was fired, it was just like, huh. But really, in the movie, it was like she was going to be leaving soon anyway. Like I don't know. I did that just bothered me a little bit. I was just like, right. so it, it was just weird. I pictured. What's the what's the Hispanic guy? Oh God, he had his own show. I can't even think. George Lopez. I picture George Lopez, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, I can't remember the actress's name, but that's who I pictured. And I'm right. Or even the lady that plays on um, the reboot of One Day at a Time. The lady that plays the grandmother on there. She could have done oh, it. Oh wow, that would yeah. Yes, that just messed me all up. Yeah. And then you know, because then because then it made sense that she had this younger daughter that was like, you know. Not following the traditions and the butter, 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 butter. But that was all lost in the movie. I agree. But was that relevant? <laughs> well, I, I think, think it was, was relevant because I feel like it made her act better. She should have been more like a. I didn't look to this to this particular character um, in the movie as what I pictured as a wise older woman being able to. Pull on her heartstrings, like, oh, can I see him? Like a motherly. She didn't come across as motherly or grandmother. And that's how, she, and that's how she was described in the book. In the book, right? I agree. So yes, I it is. Hear you guys. I mean, it is a, a change. I just don't think it's a relevant change. I don't I think, know the relevance to the story a lot. That's just my opinion. It's <laughs> not. I don't think it's relevant to the story, line, but I think it all still <laughs> folds into the feeling of the book. <laughs> The romantic, the the late older woman that was the only one allowed in her house and allowed to see her, and then she always was comparing her to her daughter, and it just ah <laughs> oh, the bad, the bad. And, and then I felt like when the mom, the when the mom fired her, it was like oh, she just fired this old lady. She don't got nowhere to go. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Now it was just like okay, whatever, because our mom was probably leaving anyway. I mean, but I don't like that. She turned around and cried. It was like, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just like. You just lost your job. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more upset, though. But they started in the beginning of the story, say she was leaving for another job anyway. Yes. That's so to, that's why I was like, the whole feeling about it wasn't as, you know, crushing and, because she was leaving. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's something on certain parts, something just wasn't clicking. Wasn't some of the parts of the story wasn't believable enough. And I don't know whether it was due to the acting or production. I don't know. I felt, I don't know. I felt it was like a little off for me. I mean, there definitely were some things that uh, it's sort of like, why? Because yeah, you're right. Yeah. Why did they have to announce that she was leaving earlier? Why couldn't there be a freaking Murphy bed in the um, hotel room that mm -hmm. she had never seen before and was trying to figure out? Yeah. So and, the friend, little things and, the, and the friend. And the friend. Like, the reason, you know, the friend kind of was the one that helped them connect to everything. Oh, the boy. That's right. I forgot about him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And that, that actually was a nice part of the storyline because it talked about him not being accepted by his family. Like, he went to right. Hawaii so he could be free to be him. Right. That's what made them that, you know, they had that connection over that, not just being able to be free and blah, blah, blah. Anyway. You know, when they first met in the room, and you know how that awkwardness they had? Uh, I felt like that, ma that the majority of the movie for some reason. I don't know what it was, but not like... It was supposed to be a part of the movie, like the awkwardness, because it right. wasn't awkward after they met. It shouldn't have been. Yeah. So, but for me, I just felt like the I don't know what it was. I really don't. But it's something. Like the two, so the two actors didn't gel. Yes, maybe that's what it was too. Yeah, I yeah. get that. So that you felt like they were. It was like their first time meeting throughout the entire movie. It was awkward. To some degree, I mean, when they went to Hawaii, they, it, it seemed more real. Right. Um, but no, not even just that though, because when when um, Maddie was looking through her stuff to find the medical papers, um, and she was upset when her mom came in to try to tell her, it just was that wasn't believable. She, I don't feel she was mad enough. Like just imagine somebody taking your whole life away from you and how upset you would be. I didn't feel it. I guess I don't know. And you felt it in the book. You wrote the way that it you is really described. It. You did feel it in the book. Feel it in the book for sure. So the it really is that's the actress. Then they weren't able to portray the feelings that came across in the book. And she's a good actress, though. I mean, I feel like she's a good I, like in um a Amanda Stanberg, and then Ollie yeah. was by Nick Robinson, who was in um 
the bo- a book we read recent not too long ago um to simon love simon you oh yeah read and love simon yeah and the mom anika i love me some anika. i love her too mm-hmm. I yeah, yeah. I and, think um, she's right. guess we're getting to casting <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well i wanted to mention too i thought it was the sweetest thing in the world when he put all those uh, pictures of the ocean outside her window. <laughs> so uh, great touch. Yeah. Yes, it was so cute. So I like that addition. That showed the like um the romance between them. I think romance right. their connection. That right. yeah that they were left here. Yeah, that they were talking and they were picking up on like different things about each other and mm-hmm. that showed it, but it like I agree, it kinda lacked the rest of it. It was kinda like, oh well, you know, we're friends because we're neighbors. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I, 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 I got that too. It just, to me, it's like, okay, before we start filming this movie, let's have a precast cast party so everybody can kind of get gelled up. Yeah. It just like seemed like that didn't happen. Right. I agree. And the bathing suit was not sexy at all. Oh my Listen. God. <laughs> Listen. Sorry, I had to say it. I'm not trying Listen. to, it's not about body shaming because she no. looked good. She but did. But I was like, I read the book and I just knew she was gonna come out of that dressing room. Damn! But you, what is that? (laughs) When they showed the the, I thought she was gonna try on more because I was like, yeah, that's not the one, babe. Keep going, (laughs) sis. Go go to the next one. She came out and was like, no, that's not the one he was supposed to see. Like it's yeah. I think it's I think especially because we are in 2021 that. Ain't a bathing suit that's gonna make somebody's eyes drop. Like right. I know it's too small. Like no, it, it well, was too small. The movie but it was wasn't came out in twenty twenty seven. I mean twenty seventeen. So, but you're right, same concept. Like no, no, mm. that yeah, it might have been too small, but it was too small in the wrong ways. So like that's why I didn't like it. Yeah, it, it wasn't flattering for her at all, and it wasn't cute. And I was mad. I was like, okay, we could have did a better job with with the bathing suit. Uh-huh. Yeah, in, in Hawaii, the bathing suit was horrible. Horrible. But let me just say this before we move into the cast. There's one thing about the book. So I was reading the book, and um, and I, and when I started watching the movie, I was remembering how when I was watching the movie before, like you felt some kind of way about her being locked in the house. And so I have to say, this time around watching the movie, I had a different feeling about being the lockdown in the house. And I think it's because of what we're going through today. It wasn't as devastating to me yeah. that she was locked down in the house whereas i remember the first time i watched it like when it first came out i was like oh my gosh like that old movie the boy in the bubble like you can't leave out but when i watched it this time around i'm just like man we're that all stuck a, in that. that's, that's a, good a very point. good point yeah i didn't think about that me either because you're right i didn't feel it like that and maybe that was part of it why it was awkward for me too because i didn't feel that pain of being <laughs> Ran in the house. I'm, I'm, I'm sucking up watching a movie. I think, yeah, that, yeah, that the is, scene, the way they built the set had a lot to do with it. Like, it was not a lockdown. Like, to me, I pictured something whoosh, 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 all of this, you know, me cleaning up. And, you know, every time Rosa, well, Claudia, whatever her name was, walked in, it should have been the shh. Like, it didn't seem like a boy in the bubble type atmosphere. It just seemed like she was just in her normal house. And I think if they had spent more time on that front door access, like what happens when somebody comes and the teacher and the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that would have made it more like, you know, so unbelievable. Also, I think that the beginning was so rushed that you didn't get to, you didn't really get to the point where she feels trapped. Mm -hmm. It was just too rushed. That's true. And I was thinking it was because I could relate more to it, but maybe it was because it was rushed. But like even the beginning of the movie, when the mom walked through the first set of double doors and she put her purse down and I, I'm making the assumption she's being sanitized, but mm-hmm. probably the average person that's watching the movie might not have known that. I just, we no. knew it because we read the book, <laughs> but I'm watching it like, hmm, that might be a good thing to put in our house now. Keep these COVID people from coming in your house. Yeah, it's right now. I mean, I was watching it from a completely different perspective instead right. of, like, feeling sorry for her. So, anyway, I was just cracking myself up, like, oh, I would like that in the front door. You know, people getting rinsed off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sanitized. Like little spritz. Like, Whoop. Exactly. We don't need it now. We vaccine, y'all. We vaccinated, y'all. <laughs> the wind down. 
Really? Because it's going. <laughs> I know you. I know you're not talking. Bottom left square rectangle. <laughs> is that me? Who are you talking to? No, my bottom left is Lynn. Oh. All right, so we did get a little bit into the cast. Um, so I liked, and I actually liked the casting for all the characters, but I do hear what you all were saying about the gelling. Maybe they just didn't gel well together, but I think, I think they were good calls. I like, I mean, I like the people that they selected for each one. I absolutely I didn't the like the nurse. Producers I didn't like her. Thought the same thing. Like they, I, they thought that, you know, these big names, they're gonna mesh well just you just want those big names but y'all need to have like lock them all in a room until they develop this chemistry that was lacking for me i don't think it was the acting itself because um amanda la amandla amandla yeah. was in the hate you give mm -hmm. and she was absolutely amazing in that movie so i feel like she's a great actor i've seen her in a couple of other things too but she's a great actress so i don't think and I, I know Anika Rose. Anika Nona Rose is a great actress too. Yeah. And clearly, Nick Robinson is a great actor from Love Simon because we all love that that movie. Oh my gosh. But, um, Maybe she didn't oh. read the book. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Amanda is, is rocking this short fade now, though. She is gorgeous. She's absolutely yeah, gorgeous. She's a pretty girl. She's got that Tiffany Haddish haircut now, mm -hmm. and um. Like which which Tiffany on. Haddish? Because I, I haven't seen Tiffany. Uh, well, actually, she's... Tiffany's got a big, a thicker afro now, but she was wearing just like a regular fade. You know, everybody no. can rock that on their face. And um, yeah. Tiffany being one of them. Sorry. Well, that's, that's what I, I meant. I thought Tiffany looked good. No. I just looked at a picture of her with that blonde little afro. And that, I, well, I seen it when it was close and blonde. It looked good, but I haven't seen the afro. Oh, it's really short. Blonde. Her, hers is bald, bald, and she yeah. and she's a comedian, so her personality for me don't match. I feel like your personality have to match. You have to really wear that. And for me, you know, I was watching um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. She was on there, but she had this crazy looking wig. And in the middle of it, she took her wig off because she said she was hot. And I'm just like, no, boo, boo. like, oh, see. I just, it just you gotta ease me into. <laughs> Because it doesn't fit her for me, for her personality. Well, you know what? Common likes it. And I'm about to yep, shake my does. head because of that. <laughs> he going through something. Leave him alone. He going through something. Oh, I'm <laughs> He's just getting sucked as man of the year on People's Magazine. He ain't going through nothing. He's absolutely a beautiful man. Anyway, we are so off target. Yes. Um, that's okay. That's what they love us for. Have you read the comment? No. Um, but you know, comment will get you off target. Comment and um, you know, Hill Harper. They make you think and talk about it. Oh Lord. <laughs> Can we get Hill to call this chick, please? Please. All right, y'all ready to rate? Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to give it a full glass for the adaptation. Uh, even though characters didn't gel, I just think they stuck to the storyline. And um, where they didn't, it was completely irrelevant. And <laughs> I think it was a great adaptation. So full glass for me. I also will give it a full glass. It definitely stayed on target with the book, unlike some that we've read recently, which was very disappointing, but I digress. Um, full glass, because it was a great, it stuck to the story. It was a great, great book, for sure. Brett? Is she stuck sweet? to the storyline. <laughs> no, it stuck to the storyline. I'm still mad about the four or five things that upset me. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give it a full glass. A full glass. I mean, he, he acting like we forcing her to do it. Okay, so I will round it out here. I'm going to give it a full glass. I chose said book. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll only be right. I am so excited to say we did got a full bottle. <laughs> it's a bottle. It's a bottle. It's a bottle. <laughs> Go, Lynn. Pick the good one. Good one. Pick the good one. Go, Lynn. With Miss Skinny Girl Moscato. You. Moscato. Yeah. Okay, so check out the book. I have like three more bottles. Read the book. Really a good read too, so definitely check out the book. 
Yeah, it's a, a good, very good read. Quick read, yes. Yeah. And um, check out the movie and let us know what you think because we love the adaptation and we would love to hear your thoughts. Hit yeah. us up on our website. Give us your comments. Click the record and leave your feedback at wine.com. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye.